Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Shopion, and welcome back to some more Doki Doki Literature Club. Guys, I am sorry for the whole shit catastrophe of me not being able to post on the scheduled days that I tried to post. I had a bunch of shit happen, and a bunch of shit I had to take care of. So, I will try my best to keep the schedule. But anyways, uh, we are back, and we're gonna share our poem to another chick in this wonderful club. Uh, we got Sayori, Natsuki, and Monica left. And I'm feeling Monica, honestly. Hi, Sharpie Boo! Having a good time so far? Oh god. Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, so... By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever had any suggestions for the club, like activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? And I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. Don't be a bitch. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Well, I guess so. Want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. This is not a ha 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 moment. Don't worry. I'm wor I'm already worried. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's the sort of barrier we're learning to get past. We all learn to get past soon. Jesus. Here comes the fucked up English. Yeah, that's true. And I had Monica Mapo. Hmm. Great job, Sharpie Boo. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. Don't ooh. Don't ooh. It's really metaphorical. It better well damn be. Better damn well be. Holy shit. Why the fuck can I- I- I'm editing that up, sorry. Nope. I'm sure. I'm sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest- It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectation low. Uh, I doubt I read that right. Holy shit. That way- it always counts when I put it in some effort. Ah, ha 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 ha. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes that kind of this likes this kind of writing, right? Writing that's full of Im imagery and symbolism. Unlike Sayori, who likes using simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness, Yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it. I do too. It's very challenging to write like that effectively, both allowing people to get some out of just by feel, or letting them deeply analyze the, all of the news nonsense. I think that's how you pronounce it. It can take years of practice, which I'm assuming Yuri has this as has it at this point. Fuck, I never last though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learning and trying to think new things. I'm sure I'll end up in different things a lot. End up trying different things a lot. It can take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you to find what's what suits you most. So don't force yourself to write away everyone else wants to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Ahahaha. <laughs> don't give it that smile. Ahahaha. Uh, <laughs> wow. For real. Anyway, do you want me to read my poem now? Don't worry, not very good. You sound pretty confident as someone who claims to be not very good, right? Well, that's because I have to sound confident. Well, she is the president. I think you're the president, right? Of the club? I think so. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Kind of. Oh, it's a lot longer. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the spackle protrudes. I know he's a neighbor. An angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see it. I reel behind. Reel blind. Like a film. 
left out in the sun. But it's too late, my retinas. Martinez? Retinas? I think, yeah. Damn, I can't read. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep, stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Obviously, that's deep. So what do you think? It's a very freeform, if that's what you call it. So I'm not really the right person to ask for, ask for feedback. Ahahaha, ah, it's okay. Ahahahaha. <laughs> yeah, that, that kind of song has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be very powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure how to put it. I guess you say I had some kind of epiphany? Epiphany? Recently? It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany. Bitch, I cannot. Epiphany! Holy shit! Why did I struggle with that? Damn! Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone's better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or story, your brain is too fixated on a specific point. If you try it so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you can keep your pen in the same spot for too long, or just keep you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So if you move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. That shit was really quick. Um Yeah, that was really fucking fast. You know what? Let's go. Oh, yeah, fuck it. Let's go. We'll do another one, and we're gonna go with Natsuki. Oh God, here we go. <laughs> I'm confused too, bro. Shepabu, if you're not gonna take this club seriously, then go home. Okay, now don't be a bitch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What did you expect? What did you expect me to believe that you're actually put effort into this? You think I'm stupid? Okay. You can... Okay. Maybe I'm not very good, but yeah, I did put in effort. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of the first poem you ever wrote, then I'd like to read it. Yeah, bitch, I got you there. Painful to think about, right? Yeah, you get embarrassed, bitch. <sighs> no, you're not. to prove, but you better off just trying it. Fair enough. Well, teach, to teach to each their own. Jesus. Anyway, I guess I gotta share mine now. No, you, you'll probably think it's stupid. Eagles can fly. What the fuck is this? Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. That's got a satire? What the fuck? People can try, but that's about it. That's fucked up. Bitch, I can fly like a damn owl and an eagle if I want to. Yeah. I told you you weren't gonna lie. Don't fucking lie to her! That was... Oh my god. No, you're not. <laughs> Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that, that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. Well, it needs to be more sophisticated than what you wrote. I'm joking. Some people don't even make, take my writing seriously. And you wonder why. But this point, but this isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves. Your writing still wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. 
I like when it's easy to read when it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. Do I? But the other, <laughs> the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but made it fall flat on purpose. I guess it helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's why. The <laughs> Are you pro, bro? I don't fucking think so. I don't think I learned a damn thing. I learned that you're overconfident by being a pro, bro. I didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did I? You didn't. Wait, didn't expect... English. I don't think my character really cares. <laughs> I decided to humor her with that last comment. Yeah. What did I say? I don't really care. Oh. How old? But not he's feeling proud, then fuck it, why not? And you know what? Just because those two were the shortest ones, I'm gonna go Sayori. Is it? Yeah, my childhood friend, right? Hey girl, how you doing? Oh my goodness! It's so good! Shoppy boo! Eh? I love it! I had no idea you're such a good writer! Sayori, you must be seriously overreact. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. What the fuck, bitch? <laughs> I need to stop. Jeez, fucking Louise. Yuri's opinion was made more constructive than this. No shit, Sherlock. Are you sure you don't like it because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I am that's perfect. That's part of it, not perfect. Fuck. I think I understand you better than a lot of people, you know. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's Sharpie Boo poem. A Sharpie Boo poem. And that makes it feel extra special. Like, I can feel your feelings in it. So you hugs the sheet against your chest. I think she'll get a little too excited. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But she's, I guess she's... She's cool. I'm really happy this, that you wrote one. Reminds you how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing right in front of you in the clum room. Clum room? Clum. Yes, I, this is a clum room. Everyone get your clums. Get your clums for the club, clum. Clubby bum, clum. Booty bum. Er, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See, it's like I said before, shy people. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know that? I'm trying to things is like this for other people. That's something that only a really good people do. Thanks. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. And again, I can't deny she's part of the reason I joined. Or perhaps the whole entire reason you joined. Considering she were forced into it. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hope to do that then. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Now you're my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. You said don't worry, right? Yeah, you said don't worry. Eehehe. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. Hey, you're already looking better than Natsuki. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. <laughs> the sleepy? Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad, I want breakfast. <laughs> you want a biscuit? You want a biscuit, bitch? Biscuit sunshine? Sayori. 
What do you? Hey, hey. No. Don't you criticize this shit. Shit to get all sunshine. Yeah. Excuse I liked it better than Natsuki's, thank you. Don't be- Oh my god, don't criticize your girl, what the fuck? That's what I'm saying. My, I'm being a jackass right now, aren't I? D okay, I'm gonna wipe my fucking name from this. I didn't mean to say it was a bad poem. It came out nice, but I should have put it. Are you saying that's a bad thing, bro? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking too. Especially that, that last line. That is true. She went too legit about it. She wanted breakfast and she got some eggs and toast, I think. Yeah, eggs and toast. <laughs> it's bad to skip breakfast and I get all cranky. I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, sure, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look too forward. More forward to it, fuck. Woo! At the test seven, I glance around the room. It's a little more stressful than I anticipated. How the fuck is that stressful? As if it's j everyone, everyone is judging me for my mediocre, ri mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems, poems can stand up to theirs. Girl... I call myself a girl. Boy, <laughs> this is literature club. I, I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Kristen, so you were in Monica and I happily chat. My eyes land on Yuri Natsuki. A gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their perspective of poems, and as they read in tandem. I'll watch either expression change. Natsuki's eyes bones furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. Sadly? What's this, this language? Eh? Um, did you set them? Oh, nothing. Natsuki dismissively presents the poem in the desk of one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? Well, have you read your own poem? No, that's fucked up. I'm sorry. It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. Language. Language. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but I really didn't need to come out nice at all. Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. Damn, don't be that fucking butt hurt, shit. If I was looking for suggestions, I would ask someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. So Yuri liked it, and Chappie Bid. Chappie Bid, Chappie Boo did too. So based on that, I'm glad to give you some suggestions on my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the effort, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet, bitch. Damn! And Shoppy Boo liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Oh, fucking hell. What are you doing about me? Oh! I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, you're just... Maybe just tell the shabu who appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. God damn. And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? No. If I was full of myself, I would have de deliberately gone out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ugh. Um. Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one with who's... Boo's magically grew size bigger as soon as Shippy Boo started growing up, showing up. Damn, throwing some shades out of boobs. Natsuki. Um, Natsuki, that's a little. This doesn't involve you. 
I don't like fighting guys. Suddenly both girls turn. Oh fucking hell! No, don't. Fuck. Um. Oh my god. Shit. If she can get over herself, I learned to appreciate simple writing is more fun. Bitch. Damn. Then. Oh my god. You're overreacting. You support you making your poem all convoluted for no reason. The meaning should jump out and use the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. That's in some poems too, girl. Jeez. Help me explain that to her. Wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, shy people? Um, well... How did I get dragged in? Because they dragged you in it because they wanted to. It's not like I know anything about writing. Whoever agrees with, I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of them. Uh, <laughs> help me, bitch. I'm not a... Fuck it. Natsuki, you're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because the painting is different. I understand, Yuri. Huh? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it. And it comes to something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see. I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. Ooh. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did! It was her that- Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both have said some things you didn't mean. Yuri apologized, don't you think you should too? Mm, Natsuki clenches her fist. Gotcha, bitch! In the end, nobody is taking her side. She trapped at the point of being defiant only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up feeling bad for her. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk from my head. So you're she doesn't need to... You know what? I'm gonna do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki snatches her poem up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples it up the poem in her hands and throws it in the trash. Well, damn, you didn't need to do that. Shit. She really didn't need to do that. That's what I'm saying. I look across the room, Yuri has a champ beard in his hands, then her dusk. I join the approach her and sit to Jason and chill. Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. Probably hit me now. No. Did- I st Girl! Mother- How can anyone have gotten- Not gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it very well, as anyone could. I couldn't think any less of you. Well, alright, I believe you. Thanks, Shabby Bird. You're too kind. I'm thankful I have you part of this club now. Er, nothing. One more thing. Um, one thing that not to say. About, you know, I would never do anything so shameful. So, uh, what thing did not to say? Don't act like you don't know! <sighs> yeah, you do that. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna stop right there because that was a big old hunk of fucking mess. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoy, please leave a like on the video. Please comment. Let me see your feedback. Let me know if you enjoyed. Let me know what games you'd like to see me play, as in for Friday for horror games or Monday something random, some topics, you know, something sh cool as fuck. And maybe even subscribe. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!